Okay, today we're going to be um, looking at the story of Hansel and Gretel. And Hansel and Gretel is a traditional fairy tale. Okay, and this is my version. You might have a version at home that's slightly different to mine. Let's see. Hansel and Gretel. A woodcutter lived in a large forest with his wife and two children called Hansel and Gretel. The family were very poor and there was no money at all to buy food for them all. We cannot afford to feed the children, said the woodcutter's wife. You must take them into the forest and leave them there. Well, how can I do that to them, asked the woodcutter. They'll be eaten by wolves. You must, said his wife, or we'll die. There we are. Can you see Hansel and Gretel? Hansel and Gretel were too hungry to sleep and they overheard their parents. Don't worry, said Gretel, I have a plan. The next day, the children's father gave them each a lump of bread, which they took deep into the forest. Gretel dropped crumbs behind them. You see the crumbs? As they walked so that we can find our way home again, she whispered to Hansel. But when they reached the middle of the wood, the woodcutter told the children to sit down. I'm going to cut wood, he explained. Wait here until I fetch you. And the, far, the children waited and waited, but their father never came. It was an owl. It must be night time. Who's behind this flap? Oh, it's like a little fox in the tree. Oh, and the rabbits. At least they had some animals to keep them company while they were waiting for their father. When night started to fall, Gretel turned to her brother. Right, she said, time to go before the wolves come out. But when the children began to follow the trail of breadcrumbs, they found that all the hungry creatures of the forest had already eaten them. Oh no, Gretel started to cry. Now we'll never find our way home. Don't worry, said Han Hansel, comforted her. As long as we stay together, we'll be all right. Let's follow this little path. It looks as though someone's recently passed this way. They followed the little path until it opened into a clearing. Should we have a look? Should we pull the flaps back? <gasps> oh, I bet you can guess what that is. Mm, what does it look like? Yes, I think you're right. They followed the path a little way until it opened into a hidden clearing. In the middle of the clearing, it's a house. I, think I can see a wolf there watching them. <gasps> what an amazing house it was, built completely out of food. The roof was made out of chocolate and the walls of gingerbread. Everything was decorated with candies, cookies and icing. The hungry children fell upon the house, breaking off small pieces and cramming them into their mouths. Suddenly, an old woman appeared. Why are you eat children eating my house, she asked, when there's plenty of food inside. Oh no. And we all know that witch isn't a good witch, don't we? She welcomed them in and gave them a feast fit for a king. You must sleep here tonight, she said. I will take you home in the morning. What's behind the cake? Oh, there's Gretel. Eating a cake. Oh, and there's Hansel eating a cake. And look, the witch has got one too. Everybody's eating these amazing cakes. I told you we'd be safe, said Hansel. We'll be back home tomorrow. And perhaps we can even ask to take some food for our parents. There's the witch listening to their stories. Hansel and Gretel in bed. But in the morning, Hansel was woken by the old woman dragging him into a small hut. She threw him in locked the door and hung the key on a high hook. I'll feed you and feed you, she cackled, and when you're fat enough, I'll have a feast. <gasps> this Hansel, look, he looks very scared in that small hut. Then she woke Gretel roughly. Wake up, lazy bones, she said. There's work to do in the kitchen. She made Gretel work all day cooking food for Hansel to eat, but she would not let Gretel eat anything. Look at Gretel's sad face. Poor Gretel. Luckily, Hansel saved some food for his sister and gave it to her when the old woman was not looking. 
After a couple of days, the old woman wanted to see if Hansel was fat enough. Poke out your finger, she ordered. Let's see how much fat you've put on. <laughs> Let's have a look. Hansel poked out an old chicken bone instead of his finger. Too thin, the old woman complained. You're not ready to eat yet. I suppose I'll have to wait. Time passed and Hansel grew fatter. Oh my goodness me, look, that's what he looked like before. And that's what he looks like now. But every time, and there's Gretel. She's eating all the sweets. Oh my goodness me, they must have eaten all the sweets. But every time the old woman wanted to see if Hansel was ready to eat, he stuck out the same chicken bone. Before long though, she couldn't wait any more and she made Gretel light the oven. You see the oven? There, Gretel had to light the oven. I don't care if he's not ready yet, she said. I'm hungry for meat, she told Gretel, to get in the oven to see if it was hot enough. Well, I don't know how, said Gretel. Will you show me? Silly goose, said the old woman, like this. The minute the old woman leant into the oven, Gretel pushed her in all the way and slammed the door shut. Gretel grabbed the key to Hansel's hut and let him out. And before they escaped, they, let, let, they looked through the house to make sure there were no other captives. Made sure no one else was in there. Ooh, do you think that's the uh, old woman's treasure box there? Could be. Good thinking, Gretel. There was no one else there. But they did find a little box of jewels taken from other people the old woman had imprisoned. Gretel put this in her pocket and the two children ran into the forest. They wandered for hours, lost, until suddenly they heard the sound of trees being chopped. Father, father, they shouted, and they ran towards the sound and they found their father cutting down trees. It's a miracle, he said. I thought you were dead. How have I missed you? I sent my wife away after what she made me do. The two children hugged their father and he promised never to let them go again, however poor they might be. Let's go home and celebrate, he continued, even though there is still no food to eat. Never mind about that, laughed Gretel, pulling out the box of jewels. Well done, Gretel. With these, we can buy all the food and drink we need for the rest of our lives. And I would imagine Hansel, Gretel and their father lived happily ever after. Thank you for listening to our story today. Hansel and Gretel, the tra traditional fairy tale. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.